G'day guys, my name is Jaden. Welcome back to my channel. I upload a new trade report every week, so be sure to hit that subscribe and bell button so you won't miss out again. I'm in Itami Airport in Osaka, Japan. Today I'm flying Japan Airlines A350 first class from here to Tokyo Haneda. Now, without further ado, let's go in, check in, and check out the first class lounge. Osaka Itami Airport has one single terminal. Japan Airlines check in counters, you'll find them in the north side of the terminal. Here they've got dedicated first class and one world emerald check in area. Once you've done check in, you can go upstairs for security. Security didn't take too long. Once airside, you'll find a food court and many souvenir shops. It's a great place to grab some Osaka only souvenirs and snacks. At Osaka Itami, JAL has two lounges. One is the Sakura Lounge for One World Sapphire members and for those connecting onwards in international business class. Holding a domestic class J ticket won't grant you lounge access here. For those flying in domestic first, as well as One World Emerald members, you can use the JAL Diamond Premier Lounge. And that's where we're in right now. It's my first time in a domestic lounge in Japan and I was really surprised. This is the first class lounge, but it's nothing compared to the Connors Clubs in Australia and Admirals Clubs in America. This one is really, really basic and I'll show you why. So here's the buffet area they've got in the lounge. There's no hot food, no sushi whatsoever. Only rice rolls and cakes wrapped in plastic. There's also no bars to make coffee, but there is a espresso machine. You can also get a bowl of miso soup from this dispenser. So basically I've grabbed all the food that you can get from the buffet and here it is. I guess the whole idea of a lounge in domestic airports in Japan, it's just that it's a place for you to charge your phone, relax and work on your laptop. I must say however, they've got really good tarmac view here. It's facing directly at the runway as well. Like their international lounges, once you've done eating, you're encouraged to bring your trays to your nearest trolley. Another thing that's missing from this first class lounge is that there's no shower facilities. The bathroom, however, is quite cute and beautiful. That A350 just landed from Tokyo Haneda and is taxiing to the gate. And that later is going to do a turnaround and bring us to Tokyo. It's a two-year-old Japan Airlines Airbus A350-900 Juliet Alpha 08 X-Ray Juliet. One thing that I find really interesting about Osaka Tami is that all announcements are made in Japanese only. There's no English. Here's a closer look to our aircraft. All JL A350 has 12 first class seats in a 222 configuration across two rows. And then you have class J, 94 of them, in a 242 configuration. Finally, you have 263 economy seats in a standard 333 configuration. So the capacity is 369 passengers. Welcome on board JL A350 First Class. My seat for the next hour is 2K. Now let's quickly go through the seat features together. So every seat has a large touchscreen TV and a large coat hook. Here is the storage compartment for your personal items. You can store your bags there but not during takeoff and landing. And you have plenty of leg room. And then down here you'll find your in-flight literature items and also a pair of slippers. I might not use them for an hour flight but I'll definitely take them home. Ready for you is a pillow-like cushion. I found it to be really good for your back. And here's a pair of noise cancelling headphones. Antiseptic wipes for the surface and hands, also a paper menu, are ready for you. All the crew members in first class just walked around the cabin to say hello to every single passenger, one by one. And one of them offered us a welcome drink, I went for a bottle of sparkling water. Right next to you, you'll find some seat control buttons, a TV remote, storage space, USB port and universal power socket. All onboard announcements were made in Japanese only, except for the safety messages and video. Welcome on board. 
So here are more seat features I just discovered. There's a divider between you and your neighbour. Your headrest is like a pillow, you can adjust it a little bit. And right next to you, you'll find a reading light. First class today is about half full. We've now taken off, I'll quickly show you your entertainment system. You have Iji Ni San Yong Gu, a total of 5 movies to choose from. There's no external cameras on board this A350. The meal service is about to begin, I'll quickly take out the tray table. You can move the table back and forth, but it's still going to block your way to the aisle during meal service. I'm just going to put my back pillow behind my back. It's so comfortable. So meal has been served and everybody's getting the same meal. And let me tell you, this is one amazing meal. So for utensils, it's only these wooden chopsticks. For drinks, I opted for champagne and sparkling water. You can also opt for some more Japanese options like soju and sake. For starter, we have two of them, a squid and cucumber bowl and cold soba noodles. The squid and cucumber also got ginger and seaweed with it, so it's really flavorful. For the main course, we've got rice, which I'm gonna chuck that into my pork dish, which has also got broccoli, carrots, and boiled egg. The pork meat was marinated with apple miso sauce, and it was amazingly delicious. I mixed the leftover sauce with the rice, it was really, really good as well. For dessert, we've got this white chocolate biscuit. It was really sweet and delicious. 25 minutes into our flight, the cabin crew came back to collect meal trays earlier due to the turbulence near Tokyo, which means the seatbelt sign will be switched on earlier than usual. So he's put my champagne into a plastic cup so I can continue drinking until we land. He also gave me a new bottle of sparkling water. So now let's quickly conclude this trip all right here, right now. Our journey today started at Osaka Itami. First class check-in was efficient and easy. The Japan Airlines Diamond Premier Lounge was a nice place to relax and chill, have some cakes, rice rolls and coffee. But it's definitely not the type of lounge that I'll head to the airport early for. The cabin crew on our flight were really welcoming, also very attentive and caring. Even after landing, the cabin crew was asking me how was the flight and food. The meal was absolutely delicious, probably it was the highlight for this flight. From takeoff to the end of meal service was only 25 minutes. It was such a short interval that no one ever used the lavatory in first class. There was also no time for me to recline my seat at all. 
So if you wonder how the seat looks like after you recline, here's how it looks like. And it's a screenshot from JEL's website. Now for the price tag, flying from Itami to Haneda cost me 22,610 yen today. So it's relatively cheaper than flying within Australia and America. In the US and Australia, your lounge experience might be more superior, but your onboard experience and food on Japan Airlines is better, I reckon. So that's it for the conclusion today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and share and subscribe if you haven't done so. I upload a new trip report every Monday and Thursday, so you definitely don't want to miss out. My social media accounts are showing on the screen. Please feel free to like and subscribe or follow, so that way you can keep up to date with me with my travels. You can also make direct impacts into funding my flights via PayPal or Patreon. Please visit the links in the description for more information. Now please enjoy the landing into Haneda and a Tokyo vlog will follow after. See you later. Hello, welcome to Hilton Tokyo here in Shinjuku. We got the twin premium room. We didn't get an upgrade today because it's so full. So very similar setup to Hilton Osaka. You've got luggage rack there, wardrobe. Likewise, bathroom on your left-hand side. Your sink and the mini teas. And shower along with the uh, bathtub. Very tiny, but it's deep so you can legit like, um, Oh, what's that word? Oh my gosh. Um, 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 I don't know, like sink in, whatever. Another mirror. You've got coffee tea station. That's coffee, tea, sugar. This is really cute. You want to steal that later, really. Hopefully they won't charge you. Mini bar. Oh, nothing. Uh, you've got some milk there. Two twin beds. And a view. Overlooking 
I guess. Hang on, I'll switch off the flash. So my favourite restaurant and favourite ramen place at all time fortunately did not survive during Covid. It wasn't there anymore, like it disappeared. So we just walked to their sister shop nearby to have a bowl of pork ramen. So you hear, it's nothing like before, it's just not as crowded. So that will be for the vlog today. There'll be more Tokyo vlog coming soon. See you later. Bye Ladies bye. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boston. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your cabin baggage stowed until the seatbelt sign has been turned off.